Kiara Hairemai and welcome back to my latest video. This time we're going to be doing the San Cordoba, Cordoba? San Cordoba uh, Challenge Tomb which is located in the Cenote area uh, which you will unlock as you progress through the main quest line. This one branches off of the hidden, te uh, hidden city region and the reward for this particular area is the Cayman's Breath 2 trait which, much like the Cayman's Breath 1, extends your ability to hold your breath underwater, which is always handy when you're stuck in these tombs. Now, finding the entrance is a bit tricky, uh, and honestly, I'm not going to show you guys how to do it, because you're either going to find it or not. This is where the approximate location is, and you basically just have to go around in circles until you find it. How much fun is that? Not very much fun. Anyway, this puzzle is actually one of my favourites so far, and you guys are going to see why in a couple of minutes. So let's get started. Hope you guys aren't getting too much feedback off my microphone. I just invested in a uh, must have need to find a way through this barricade. In a lapel mic. Uh, pop down here first. There is a supply cache. And on the other side I believe there is a yes there is, there's a relic. find a way through this barricade. Oh, another skill point. Just what I need. There's also some stuff. Lots of stuff. Never say no to stuff. As you guys can probably tell from how rich I am at the moment. I've got nothing left to spend money on until I find, find a way that wandering merchant again. Need to find a way through this barricade. The best way through any barricade is with a cannon. Or a falconet in this case. A falconet. Yeah, I wasn't actually clever enough to know what, what it was from inside, I just remember what she said. Bye, Falconet. It was nice knowing you. Looks as though this was built to keep people in and not out. That's right, guys. It's a friggin' Spanish galleon. How did we get inside this cabin? I want to say it's a pirate ship. It's technically not a pirate ship, but it's a pirate ship. Oh my god, it's so cool. Uh, before you do anything, jump in the water and grab another supply cache. You can probably see it twinkling. You'll also notice there's some stuff on the other side, which we'll get in a minute. That includes a relic over there in a rather pretty box. Here. There's quite a lot in here. It's, this is a fairly large puzzle, I mean, size-wise. Oh, there's more stuff in the water. I don't want to get it. I'll get it after the video. I'm too lazy. I'll finish cleaning up once I'm done recording this. I don't want to make you always watch me clean the map. We've also encountered our first kickable raft. Shovey shovey. I love how they keep introducing new things and then only using them once. It's like they're all like, we've added this cool new mechanic, we're going to use it over and over again. No, you actually only use it once and that's pretty much it. Okay, so the goal we've got to do, we've got, we've got to do here is we've got to get this fella to swing around and drop onto this to smash our way into the cabin because apparently that's how we do archaeology now. Archaeology is smashing. Let's all grab some stuff. 
with lots of stuff. Need to find a way to break oh, through the Before gap. we do anything else, we're gonna dive off here. Ah, I tried to do a dive and missed it again. Okay, now the reason we're down here is because there is a chest. Uh, sorry, there's a relic. See that pretty box, man? I want that box. I don't really want that rusty sword though. The rusty sword can stay. Oh, I suppose I can't complain. My swords are just as rusty. That sounded wrong. I used to collect swords and never took care of them, so they kind of turned to tarnish. That's why I no longer collect swords! Now to get back out of here you just jump on this ladder here and then we'll pick up where we left off. Right. I need to find a way to break through the deck. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be turning these to try and make the the beams above us turn. But to start with, I don't think we can actually turn this one. No, we can't. But this one doesn't want to turn. So what we're going to have to do is need to find a way we're going to dive into the water. Down. As you can see, some stuff over there. And this time I'm going to pull it off properly. Yay, my buttons work. And I'm going to grab this uh, treasure down here. This Epicans never says no to treasure. this thing open. And don't worry, that always does that. I have no idea why she suddenly panics when she goes through here. We are fine. Like these dudes, look at them, they're all squished. Okay, let's see the other thing. Oops, come here. No, stop smashing stuff. Some conveniently damaged panels for us to climb. Great. Now this is not a map for the faint of heart, or more specifically, those with a fear of heights. You'll see why in a second. This beam is not going to move, but we're going to try it anyway to show you what happens. Damn, it won't budge. Oh dear, it won't budge. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump on this beam here. I wish we could turn that wind off after the first time. I really don't need to know, dude. Okay, so we go over here, and this takes a, this is is the correct way to go. It may just take a few goes to get her to grab it properly. Finicky, finicky jump. There we go. Apparently, a run up helps. I've 
mentioned previously, I'm not a fan of heights, right? It's kind of funny, actually, how games can trigger your phobias. I get pretty bad claustrophobia in games that have low ceilings. Heights, deep water, I don't like either of those things in games. Don't know why I'm playing Tomb Raider. Have to orientate the boom. Yes, we are. Jump over here and grab some jade. You can never have too much treasure. Wait, I already said that. Ha! Still true. We head over here for some more nauseating heights. Aim for that boom over there. Try not to miss. Anyone who apologizes to Lara when I drop her on the ground like that? We've got to rotate that around, that around, so we can jump on it to get up there. Which means we have to pop back over here. Now it should allow us to turn. Wait, I'm on the wrong level. Ha! Go up a level. Should allow us to turn the boom now. It's entirely possible it would turn before and I just can't get the keys right. Almost there. Boom. Up here. Now this jumper doesn't really look like you can reach, but when you get over to the end of the ledge, Lara does that and you can make me throw up. Woo! Success! 
surprise, surprise, treasure. He was hoarding treasure. breath too. Just gonna double check that we've got everything. Looks like it. Oh, I've just got to finish off that last challenge and then I am I'm done with the same night reason. Region. Sometimes if I say the right words. The way out. You could just go back the way you came I guess. Or you could just go through the wall because why go around when you can go through? The exit must be past the temple. And from here on out it's pretty simple, you guys won't have any trouble with it. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, kakete anō, see you next time.